Would you rather have four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president? Four years of Donald Trump as a dictator. How come? From all that I saw him do, I just, I like everything he does. And Joe Biden, I haven't really approved of nothing he does. He seems like he likes to back down on everything and he can't hold his power. Donald Trump did say, as we talked about this on his first day, uh, he was going to be a dictator. And would you rather have four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president? Uh, four years of Donald Trump as a dictator, if he's going to make the country better, you know, I believe what Donald Trump says. And, you know, if he says it, then I'll go with it. And if he wants to be a dictator, then so be it. He'll, he's the president of the United States of America and he would be my president. And you, ma'am, would you rather have four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of Joe Biden as a president? I think Joe Biden is not a president. I think that he um, is told what to do. I think that the government, there's a huge, big, more issue going on than just him. Like, you know, he's um, being told what to do. I feel like like they're just trying to control, you know. Um, and I think Trump would be... I mean, I love Trump. I think everything he says is honest, and he's looking out for each and every one of us and the country's best interest. Donald Trump said on day one he's going to be a dictator for a day. No, he's not going to do that. He's just, he's just riling his enemies up, his political enemies up. That's all he's doing. What he's going to do on the first day, all that stuff Joe Biden did on his first day, signing all kinds of things that stop everything that was good for this country. He's going to put them things back into place where they should have been, not taken away. Would you rather have Donald Trump as a dictator for four years or Joe Biden as president for four years? You can't even call Donald Trump a dictator. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, by the way, I'm not. I'm just saying, would you rather have Donald he's Trump? going to be a dictator. He's going to go in. He's going to do the job that's supposed to be done. He's going to do what's right for this country, not what's wrong for this country. I'll give you a hypothetical. How about they investigate the Democratic Party, the Clintons, the Bidens, and a whole bunch more? The only reason some of these people are even in the news is because they're stupid. They leave their laptop. If that laptop was never been found, it wouldn't be an issue. They're stupid. They're so arrogant because nothing happens. They got caught and nothing happened. You got all the evidence in the world and still nothing happened. So how is that a deterrent from anybody doing more of the same. When there's no accountability, they just run wild. And there's going to be even more. Can we talk then about the 91 indictments against him and how those sit with you? You got your bleep already? <laughs> They're bullshit. How's that? They're bullshit. They're media concocted bullshit to influence the election. The people that don't pay attention, they hear what you just said, 91 indictments, felony indictments. Well, he must be a criminal then. They're both. A lot of people think it's the most important election of their lives. Is it that way to you? Yes, sir. And what would it mean to you if Donald Trump were to lose again? It would suck. <laughs> How come? Because he's a good president. I believe in a lot of stuff he believes in. Like what? Tell me. Tell me a little bit about what 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 you liked about him. Why he was a good president? Well, he put this. He got us back on track with a lot of different countries. He. He did a lot of things with the different stuff in the United States here. Brought stuff back, pipeline, all that stuff. And what, what did the pipeline accomplish? Well, it's a lot more that we do our stuff here instead of trying to get it out of the country because then we have more problems bringing it back and getting a lot of our stuff back into the United States.